Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishram Malyala. This is one of the most requested video from many of the students out there. So that is the reason I'm making this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about BTECs versus integrated MTech. So which will be the best option regarding all the stuff I'm going to talk in this video. So without taking much time, let's get into the video. And before that, tell me how many of you have downloaded my entrance corner app. So you can just download it, use it and check all the courses out there. If you want to learn something, you can buy and learn them and just do leave the review in the google play store so link will be in the description now let's move into the video so btech versus uh, mtech integrated so this is what we are going to talk now so usually the btech course uh, will take you four years right and when it comes to integrated mtech it is five years here you will get the btech degree so here you will get integrated mtech degree so it is not btech plus mtech that is dual degree dual degree is different integrated mtech is different dual degree in the sense you will get two different degrees like btech one degree and two second degree is mtech but here you will be getting only single degree which is uh, main, on which it is mentioned as integrated mtech and five years course so that's how you are going to get you are not going to get two separate degrees so please keep that in the mind so usually if you are someone who have an idea to do mtech after your btech so if you are like really you wanted to do mtech or phd or you wanted to do research so for all of you guys who wanted to do this, like if you already have a vision towards your career and all, you wanted to do MTech, PhD, research in any of the universities or something like that, after your BTech, you can surely choose this integrated MTech. The thing is, if you are really wanted to do MTech, so it is done. With integrated MTech, you will save one year. But if you want to do uh, after taking BTech, it will take six years, four plus two. So here you are saving one year if you wanted to do MTech. But if you wanted to do your PhD, in order to do PhD, you have to complete your master's degree, right? MTech also, right? So after BTech, you have to do two years of MTech and then you have to start your PhD journey. But when it comes to integrated MTech, you can directly start before one year itself if you want to do PhD. Same with the if you want to do research in your core field, be it mechanical, biotechnology, chemical, all these things or CSC or anything. So whoever wanted to go for MTech, PhD research or anything like that for sure at any cost. So if you are having an option of integrated MTech or BTech to choose between uh, in almost like same colleges, for example, VIT versus SRM here, SRM BTech, VIT integrated. So if you are sure that you wanted to do MTech, PhD or research, go for integrated for course. So that's what I would suggest. But if you are someone who wanted a quick job, and if you are someone you are not sure about whether you wanted to do PhD or MTech or research after your BTech, so you don't have any clarity, then BTech will be a best option for you. So that's what my opinion will be about BTech versus integrated MTech. And now the thing is, you will surely ask me about placements. So what is the scene of placements for both BTech and integrated MTech? So let me openly say the number of companies which comes for BTEC students will be surely more than what integrated MTech students get. Of course, placement packages and everything will be good. So whatever less companies integrated MTech will get, the companies will offer you the good placement uh, packages and all. So that is what I wanted to say. So if you are sure about MTech or all those stuff, you can surely go for integrated MTech. And but there will be some students who wanted to do MBA. So what is the scene of MBA if you take BTEC and integrated MTech? So MBA will be done after the undergraduate degree, right? It's also a master's course. Uh, countries will offer one year MBA course, few countries will offer two years course. Let's say if you took integrated MTech and you wanted to do MBA, that means it will take you how much? Seven years, right? It will take you seven years in this case, seven years. But when, when it comes to BTEC, it will just take you six years. So if you're someone who wanted to do MBA, after your undergraduation, you can surely go for BTEC. Here you will be saying one year more. So that's how you need to understand so, so how many years it is taking. So one more thing will be what happens in BTEC versus integrated MTEC. So if you join integrated MTEC, what happens by the time you complete your fourth year, your friends will be joining some different different firms. They will be start earning. You should never feel a regret later on once after taking this. So that's why please do your own analysis. So this is, these are my points. So if you ask me, if you ask me to suggest BTEC or integrated MTEC, I openly suggest go for BTEC because you will be having a lot of options to open to you. Maybe one year here and there, but yeah, BTEC will also always be helpful. So if you ask me BTEC or integrated MTEC, you should, you can surely go for BTEC, but it 
in the least case possible if you have you don't have any chance of getting into top colleges tier 1 tier 2 colleges uh, but you wanted to join some college this year in that case if you only have the integrated course you can surely go for it not an issue in the fifth year you will get an internship opportunity working with the companies you can go and work with the companies you will get stipend and all those stuff and in the, after fifth year you will be get taken into the company if you work good or else you can sit for other companies so that's how it is going to be there so my final verdict will be prefer btech first in some cases if you don't have any chance of getting into tier 1 or tier 2 or tier 3 colleges but you have a option of getting into integrated mtech go for integrated mtech in that case so i hope this video is really helpful for all of you guys so if you find this is a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe to sai charan malayala nid varangal channel chalo then guys that's it for this video bye bye jai hind